Unit 19, Lesson 2. This first part is evaluating expressions. Evaluating means answering the expression. It says read the problem below, then explore. So we're just going to explore. We're just going to study this page. We're going to look at it to make sure that we understand what it's doing. How to evaluate an expression that uses grouping symbols. The problem. There are 24 students on a field trip to the aquarium. There are also eight adults on the trip. The expression 5 tenths or 50 hundredths times the sum of 24 plus 8 represents the cost in dollars to buy everyone a 50 cent souvenir eraser. What is the total cost of the eraser? So the 50 cents that's right up there or the 50, the reason it's not 5 tenths is because we're dealing with money. It says it's a 50 cent eraser. So we're doing 50 cents times the sum of 24 and 8. So we know real quick by looking at this, the sum of 24 and 8 is 32. 50 cents times that. Well, we could actually do the math over to the side. Or what they're wanting us to do is realize that since 50 is half of 1, and it's going to be half of this sum, we could just draw this line straight across and we can say, okay, so we're just purchasing half. And the number up here would be 12 students, four adults, that's 16. So the cost is $16. Model it. You can use words to help you understand it. Half of the sum of number of students and the number of adults. So half of the sum of 24 plus 8. And we're saying 20, the sum of 24 plus 8 because it is grouped together in the parentheses. Next page. Describe one way you could read the expression 0 0.50 times parentheses 24 plus 8 parentheses. What's one way that you could um, say that? Well, you could just say it's half the sum of 24 and 8. How could you picture it on the previous aid page to evaluate? So how could you use the picture to answer it, to, to solve it? And it says the number of people in the upper half of the diagram is half the sum of 24 plus 8, which is what the expression 5 tenths times 24, or you could say half times 24 plus 8. Just going to extend this out so it's smaller. There we go. So then evaluate it. Evaluate it says, hey, give it an answer. And you should be able to write 16 or should have been able to have the answer 16 written down. Number five, Morgan sees a different way to evaluate half of, half of the sum of 24 plus 8. She finds half of 24 and half of 8. So half of 24 is 12, half of 8 is 4, and that's the exact same sum. So we could do 24 plus 8 and get 32, which half of 32 is 16. Or she did half of 24, which is 12, half of 8, which is 4, 12 plus 4 is 16. So it's the same answer. Number six, the expression three times parentheses, number of students plus number of adults, parentheses, represents the cost in dollars for another group that will go to the dolphin show at the aquarium. Describe the how the cost compares to the total number of students. Well, that, just, that one just means that there's, it's three times the number of students and three times the number of teachers. So whatever number of students, if I put 100 students in here and I put 10 adults, that's 110 times three. If I put... 15 students and 5 adults, that would be 20. 20 times 3 would be 60. So it's just stating that whatever is in that parentheses is going to be multi multiplied by 3. Bottom, describe what happens when you multiply a sum by 2. Well, it's going to double. And then the last one is $19. Okay. Practice pages. This one is a little different. I had to study it myself for a little bit. Miss Nakos works four hours on Monday, and that's why we have a Monday. Four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours. And on Tuesday, she works eight hours. So that's why it says Tuesday, 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 
Tuesday, Tuesday, because each letter represents four hours. During one week in May, she worked one-fourth of her regular hours. Evaluate the expression one-fourth times four plus eight to find the number of hours she worked that week. So on this week, she worked Monday for four hours, Tuesday for eight, four hours and four hours, which is eight hours. But on the one time, she worked one-fourth of her regular hours. So we would do one-fourth of four plus eight, which four plus eight is 12. So one-fourth of 12 is basically saying 12 divided by four, which equals three. Pause the video if you need to, or rewind it, and listen to that again and try to figure out what did we just do here, because this is putting it into a table. They call it a picture, but it's putting it into a table. Now, look at the expression in the example. There are, and this is the example up here, there are parentheses around 4 plus 8 to show it is being evaluated first. Are the parentheses necessary? Yes or no and tell why. Next one, the expression 1 half times 4 plus 8 represents the number of hours Mr. Nakos, Miss Nakos worked the last week of school. Evaluate the expression to find the number of hours she worked that week. Again, it's very similar to this, but it's 1 half instead of 1 fourth. These two are both story problems and another one, none of those are super hard. So you should be able to do that. Answer key is coming up next. Pause the video if you don't have it done. If you do have it done, then the answer key is coming up now. There you go. Lesson two, answer key.